Guys, this might sound crazy, but I have to say the same sentence that I just said in my update video about the crisis in Italy at the supervolcano Campi Flegri. And I have to say the same sentence here for Greece, for Santorini. Things are getting more and more serious and they're not as good as we were hoping them to be. We just had two strong earthquakes and i'll get to this in a second the authorities just announced that they want to build an escape port on the island of santorini we will get to that too but let's have a look at the earthquakes first because they just happened so you see this here the pink dots these are the latest earthquakes like in a time frame within the last six hours and the red ones are also interesting because they also happened in the last few hours in the last 12 hours but many of them just happened seven eight hours ago but look at these two large dots and today started out with this swarm here so with an isolated swarm further east and it seems like it's traveling a little bit further east. We had then one here right at the caldera at magnitude 1.6 at a depth of six kilometers. And then we just had another smaller one, well, smaller for volcanic activity, 2.1 tells us something at a shallow depth of only two kilometers. But then we had this one here, guys, 4.9 on the 18th at 6.08 a.m. So that just happened. This is this one here. This just happened. And then there was a 3.6 that was up here, shallow at two kilometers. But then guys, look at this. This is a 5.0. We're talking about February the 18th. That already started out with that many earthquakes. 5.2 another one they keep coming it's not dying down and let's have a look at february 18th that's still young it's still it's still in the morning what time is it there local i have to zoom in seven in the morning and it already has these two large earthquakes so the 18th did start out where is it with 2.3, 2.5, 1.8, 2.2, and I'm going up here, another 2.5, 2.1, 2.8, 3.2, 3.4, 4.3, 3.8, .3, all these large ones, and then 3.5, 3.2, let's just check where that was, also in that area where we have seen the 5.0 and 2.9 2.4 2.5 3.6 and then shortly after the 4.9 and the last one that they had is a 1.8 that is in this area and guys i've done a lot of research and i think i have a little bit of a picture what is going on here in this area underneath the caldera where they do have a confirmed land rise that is basically in this area here and in these areas and also we know this what you see here these are the craters of the colombo underwater volcano that also has a magma chamber that is filling up and has already reached the point that it had when the last eruption happened at this underwater monster and both are monsters if they have a large eruption so we see that this traveled over the time of the last well it's almost three weeks that this thing is lasting january 26th it's been traveling from here gradually traveling here then it started a little bit northeast and then it was coming back to the south and then now we're having a strong eastern tendency here again. It always keeps refreshing if there is another earthquake. So here also, what was that? A 3.8. So is there magma coming out from this magma chamber here underneath Santorini? And magma intrusion that is going here through this area with all the fault lines. And is it then going here in this area now is the magma intruding so to speak in this area or has this constant rumbling that we've seen over the last three weeks 
activated something here. We've had some scientists that said, well, it's very well possible that we might see the birth of a new volcano somewhere here in that area. And why is this a plausible theory? Because if you look up that area here, all this area, there are fault lines. Uh, let's see if we have, if we can change this any way so that we see that better, but unfortunately not. So the, our best bet is probably the S3 satellite, Google satellite. Wow, well, yeah, there we see it a little bit better. That's great. So look at this, guys. This is the Santorini caldera. Then we have Colombo here with several craters. But this is an area because there's so many fault lines. There are craters. There are extinct volcanic craters. There is a lot going on here. So if there are so many volcanic craters that are not active right now, Colombo definitely is active and Santorini is active. And there are also some in this area. So why wouldn't there be the chance that another is created? Because that area through constant shaking, the crust gets brittle, the rocks get brittle. So it gives way so that magma could get to the surface and create a new crater, an underwater eruption. And when we had that massive swarm last Friday, that was so intense that scientists said the seismic pattern has completely changed. They were scared. They heard rumbling, the island here. They heard rumbling. They heard noise that did sound like a volcanic eruption. So they said, well, it's nighttime, we can't see anything. They were really thinking, is there something coming out somewhere at Santorini, maybe here at Nea Kameni again? And then they were the next days deploying research vessels with like underwater submarines um, to, to look, and they're still looking <laughs> to see if there was anything going on down there. And then we get the news today that Greece will soon set up an evacuation port on the island of Santorini to facilitate the safe escape of people in case a bigger quake hits the popular tourist destination. That's what a Greek minister said today. Um, I was just wondering, huh, okay, um, I would rather evacuate everyone from the island right now, um, to be honest. But yeah, residents have complained for years that the current ports that they have are completely over capacity with all the tourists that are coming in because it's more and more tourists. It's like 3.5 million tourists per year. And we've had like over 25,000 quakes so far in the last three weeks. And thousands of people have fled the island voluntarily. Then they halted the construction boom that's happening on the island because um, many faulty constructions were conducted, as it seems, without permits, without um, foundations that would be stable enough. And, and they're building like crazy on these cliffs. It looks really scary when you look at this. So, so far, no major damage has been reported. Some walls have cracked, some, some stuff has cracked, but we really didn't have any catastrophe like homes sliding down the cliff or anything. There were landslides, but, you know... They're not ruling out bigger tremors, but we know now that the tremors origin from magma. It has volcanic origins. So you should think that something else might happen as well. And that's what scientists are saying. Even if it's only an underground magma intrusion, I'm not saying these this magma couldn't activate the fault lines that are in the area. It all works together, which is, which is even making it worse, right? If, it could also not only be one magma intrusion because we have several uh, culprits that could be responsible for this. This could be like a chain reaction. First intrusion starts from Santorini, then the second one at Colombo, and they all go in that direction and they activate the fault lines. I mean, it's a weird scenario, but it's certainly possible. So what they have done right now, they have identified the main ferry port at the foot of a slope and then they have also looked at other sites across Santorini as weak links. Um, so they said they cannot be used in an emergency situation. 
So the Civil Protection Minister said Greece will build an evacuation port for the safe docking of passenger ferries until a new port infrastructure is in place. Okay, so they said, along with the new port in Santorini, which is being prepared, there was a decision for setting up an escape port on the part of the island where passenger ferries would be able to dock in an emergency. Because um, a larger earthquake would also potentially bring a tsunami. Um, so one uh, seismology professor has just said um, he's a spokesperson for the Santorini quakes to the public broadcaster. He said the story is not over. He says both authorities and inhabitants should get used to a rather unpleasant situation for some time. It could be another two, three, and now it comes, guys, months. Thing is, the shape that Santorini has right now, that comes following the largest volcanic eruptions in history around 1600 BC. I will follow up for you with this. I hope you liked the video and you found that update valuable. If you did, guys, please leave it a like, share it with your friends. And if you want to support my work and my channel, and right now my, my sick dog, the, his vet bills, please go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. The link is in the description of this video. And buy us a coffee or two and uh, follow us there for free for updates. And thanks to all of you who have been doing that. Guys, you have no idea how much that helps right now. Really, really. And thanks for your supers here on YouTube and for your emotional support, for your comments and for watching my videos. So I hope you're all safe where you are, um, enjoying your morning coffee or your evening coffee or your night owl drink, whatever. I know I have many night owls that are watching. So my heart goes out to all of you. And another update is in preparation and will be out soon. So Click the notification bell and check my channel page on a regular basis because YouTube is sometimes the algorithm is not good sending out notifications. And always check your subscription status because also there is a bug that sometimes unsubscribes people from channels. So yeah, be make sure that you're always on the pulse with me. Bye guys.